absolute transit chaos for York Memorial students in these first few weeks of September. As you may remember, the 900 students were displaced by two big fires at their school back in May. They were eventually relocated here to Scarlet Heights, which isn't far, but commuting here has proven to be extremely difficult. Parents tell us at least 600 additional students are now taking TTC buses here, but the routes haven't been replenished with extra buses. It's been completely overcrowded. I mean, you can't get on the bus for a couple of buses usually, and then we usually walk to... Right. Yeah. 32 stops. Yeah. I have to wait pretty much about five buses every day, maybe four, before I can actually get on. Every time, like, the bus comes, like, it's always full. Like, I always have to wait for a next one, and I'm tired of that, because when I, when I want to go home, I want to go home. I have homework to do. It's even harder when you have homework because then you don't really have that much time to do it. Because by the time you get home, if you have a lot, then how are you supposed to do it? All I can say is it's very stressful because with all like the new work and all the stuff that we're having like to mission all the way down to Royal York, it's very hard. As you heard, there is a lot of frustration. Students say they're getting home hours later than they normally would. Many have chosen to just walk because it's faster. That's, of course, not an option in the winter. The two main routes affected run along Eglinton and Royal York, and this comes after an already stressful year for these students. As we said back in May, a massive accidental fire shut their school down. A lot of them lost their belongings. Students were then originally relocated to a nearby school, George Harvey, but have now been moved indefinitely to Scarlet Heights which was sitting empty and parents are also speaking out about this problem for like what 20 30 minutes waiting for our next bus to come along yeah. something has to be done and I would like it if it gets done before the bad weather kicks in because you know we can't be here to pick them up like yeah. it's not possible for us not just mine for any kids they're not used to it a lot of these kids used to just walk back and forth to school yeah. and and now they're on a bus and like bombarded with others so much to the point that buses aren't even stopping they're just rolling yeah. by yeah. so I, I I'm not happy with it and I'm sure that it'll get fixed but it's got to get fixed sooner than later we did reach out to the TTC and TDSB about this issue. The TTC tells us, unfortunately, the TDSB did not advise us of this relocation. Had they done so, we could have had service adjustments in place sooner, maybe even for the start of the school year. As things stand, we are unable to adjust scheduled service in this area until January. And the TDSB says, we understand that this is frustrating for some of our students. Previously, staff have not notified TTC of school changes, nor were they made aware that was required. However, moving forward, we will be working with the TTC to address any significant changes.